is Tuesday, January 29, and we just left Rock Hound State Park. It was a great stay. Uh, I guess we stayed there four days. So now it's time to hit the road once again. Uh, we, we dumped all the tanks there, filled up with fresh water, so we're, we're good to go. Uh, so we're probably going to camp somewhere around Tucson. I think we'll try and find some BLM land to uh, boondock for a few days. And then, uh, and then we'll go a little bit more north. We're trying to stay south as long as we can. It was really cold this morning. Uh, it was 34 degrees when I got up. So really, really cold. And I, today's gonna be in the 40s here. But in Tucson, it was like 60 degrees already. So that's what I'm looking forward to, 60, 70 degree weather. We've seen a lot of uh, border patrol around here too. We're not too far from the US-Mexico border. And so there's uh, a lot of uh, border patrol. I've seen quite a few go by. So. And we did get stopped at a border patrol. Uh, on the uh, way to Rock Hound, so they, on I-10, they diverted all the traffic off, and uh, they uh, profile. So they profile people. They just kind of let us go through, but they looked at every vehicle. Well, all right, we'll catch you when we make it to Tucson. Bye now. Welcome to Arizona. Crossing border, entering Arizona. Look at those mountains there. How the country changes as you drive across. Hi. All right, sorry about that. Hey, buddy. <laughs> just, just right. Yeah. Him. And him. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, buddy, you. All right. All right, you too. Appreciate you guys, by the way. Today is Wednesday, January 30th, and uh, last night we pulled into this RV park. Uh, it's about 15 miles outside of Tombstone, Arizona. Uh, this is in St. David, uh, Arizona, and it's called Apache uh, RV Park. So, I mean, it's not much on aesthetics, but uh, uh, it's only 20 bucks a night, and we have full hookup. So, uh, we're staying here a couple days. Uh, of course, uh, earlier today we went down and did the tourist thing uh, down at Tombstone. So we're just, uh, just, this is just at the beginning of the town of Tombstone. So there's the graveyard. We're going to go check it out. <laughs> so old man Clanton, he with several other men were ambushed on a cattle drive by Mexicans. All but one man were killed. Billy Clanton, Tom McClurry, and Frank McClurry were murdered on the streets of Tombstone in 1881. Tra tragic results of the OK Corral battle which took place between the Earp brothers with Doc Holliday and the Cowboys. Three men were killed and three were wounded. Because he was insisting that he have a drink with this guy and they just shot him. They hanged him by mistake. 
Wow. All right, so right behind me is the Tombstone Courthouse, and it's located on Tough Nut Street. Boy, what a street name. Man, you just cannot make this stuff up. So we're going to be going, it's a museum now, and we're going to be going right in there in just a minute. Look at these old desks. And Thirty-eight caliber, double action, Smith & Wesson. Oh, this is a copy though. That's not the real deal. Tools they worked with. Mm -mm. I don't think I'd want a doctor coming near me with any of this stuff. At age 30, his he looked evil. Look, uh, never seen a ga real gallows. <sighs> Invitation to a hanging. Nice. Oh. I don't know what that is, but let's see. Keep off. <laughs> it's a reconstruction. The original one was burnt down. It's a reconstruction. The other one was burned down. <laughs> right there, though, that's... So where do you think this is? Where they held the prisoners until they got them. Fire alarm. Wait, they got rubber mallets here, so they want you to hit them. Hmm. There you go. This one came from their first schoolhouse. Should we try it? Oh yeah. Awesome. There's the schoolhouse it came from. How'd you like to be cooped up in this little tiny office all day long? Sold stamps and money orders. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Man, look at those old books and that. Wow. Courtroom. Yeah. 
It's where the witnesses testified, right there in that little box. while playing pool. That's a girl. Go get your gun, right? That's it. Right. He's already loaded. <laughs> All right, folks, before we get on our show, we have a little history to share with you about our town. It was just 140 years ago that Tombstone was established. Back at that time, there were only about 100 miners out here roaming in these hills. In seven short years, the population exploded to over 20,000 people. At that point, we were the second largest city in the West next to San Francisco. A lot of people flowing in here. Why were those people coming here? Silver. Silver, exactly. Right over here in this uh, ravine, they pulled out over $85 million worth of silver. Now, you think that's a lot of money now, you convert it into today's dollars, that's $1.9 trillion. Wow. A ton of money. This town really did help finance the Western movement in many ways. So we had a lot of good people coming here, people looking for hard work, people looking to establish the West, brave people. But we also had a lot of outlaws, bandits, and thieves. Uh, but then the real stone came to town. <laughs> the bankers, the lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> Up here on Allen Street, we had over a hundred saloons serving whiskey 24 hours a day. <laughs> we really miss those days. <laughs> we also had 25 working women up on the street. <laughs> and their fans. <laughs> you ain't got no grit, I saw that movie. You don't have the cool eye patch or nothing. <laughs> Theater, folks, I gotta reload sometime. <laughs> Not John Wayne, don't have one of those 84 shot, shot six shooters, you know. <laughs> but what I do have here is a bullet with your name on it, it says Big Dummy right down the side. <laughs> All right, Jack, it's time to meet your maker. This is real. Let's go. Go. <laughs> All right, lay down on the ground. Uh, bad guy wins. Show's over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Loan the good guy a bullet. That's a little bit off. I promise if you loan me a bullet, I'll, I'll give, it, give it right back. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. All right, I'm Ringo. I'm fast. I'll beat him anyway. Should I give him a bullet? Yeah! yeah. I'll give you one bullet. I need two. <laughs> <laughs> no, I need two because you didn't leave anything back there for it me to put in. You, can only, you don't need it to finish you the know show. Come on, oh, give him the two bullets! Watch out! I'm going to a pile of ants over here! That's the time we got you! That's what you get when you hire off a of Craigslist. <laughs> All right, uh, should I give him two bullets? Yeah! yeah. 
<laughs> All right, I'll give you two bullets, but I'm not going to hand them to you. We're going to make this like a high dramatic Hollywood ending, you know, like Quick and the Dead. See that show? He throws the bullet right at the last minute. Yeah. Well, that's what we're going to do. Oh, you can back up there. Okay. All right, got to warn you though. The second one's a little bit quicker than the first. You ready? Ready. Here you go. <laughs> what are you bowing for? That was a great catch. <laughs> Thomas says, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like and share. Until next time, happy camping.